in this part i'm going to discuss few more questions so let's start with this a vessel is steers a course of 0 90 degree true uh, from a position 22 degree 30 minutes south and 0 58 degree 30 minute east and reaches 22 degree 30 minute south so here you start with 22 degree 30 minute south and 0 58 degree 30 minute east the course is 0 90 degree here and arrives at this position which is again 22 degree 30 minute south and 1 2 0 degree 30 minute east well what i am going to do here it is the same problem which we have already discussed in part 2 however it is going to be very interesting when we will solve question number 7 and 8 they are a bit difficult so stay tuned here let's figure it out latitude is constant so let's just work out well latitude remain same latitude is constant why because it is 22 degree 30 minute here 22 de degree 30 minute here so that means vessel is doing parallel sailing vessel is doing parallel sailing now for parallel sailing the formula is departure is equal to distance sorry first of all departure is equal to distance and also departure is equal to d long into cos of latitude now we need to work out what is the value of d long so is here it is 120 degree 30 minute east and it is 058 degree 30 minute east so the value of d long the value of d long will be less need the calci well you can do with that here just let me switch it on 120 degree 120 degree and 30 minute minus 58 58 degree and 30 minute so i get this value which is uh, 62 degree now the 62 degree i just need to multiply by 60 i get this is 3720 so the value is 3720 minute 373720 minute now the latitude is already there so let's find departure departure is 3720 multiplied by cos 22 degree and 30 minute so again let's punch in the calci let's bring the calculator here so we have 3720 multiplied by cos 22 degree and 30 minute well it's it is 3436.8 actually uh, just ignore this degree actually 3436 point and this is 49 so it can be uh, point 0.8 3436.8 3436.8 nautical mile the answer is in minutes or distance is in nautical mile all right let's solve this problem here there are two ships on the same parallel of latitude of 25 degree north so this is a vessel a and this is vessel b and they are at 25 degree north latitude well this is north pole and this one is the south pole obviously this is zero degree or the equator now both the vessels are moving in uh, uh, zero 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 that's the course so that means this vessel is moving in this direction and this vessel is moving in this direction so suppose they reach at c and d so this fellow this is x and y this is going to be your d long which will be 3 degree and 35 minute well if the vessel moves here 
So let's figure it out first. A speed is equal to distance over time. So this way distance is equal to a speed into time. So speed is 50 knot and the time is 24 hours. So this gives me 360 minutes or 6 degree. Well, this is this distance A to C. Let me just mark with the red color A to C or B to D. So that's a D let. So this is the value of D let. D let is 6 degree north. So if it is 25 degree plus 6 degree, that means this is 31 degree north. Now the question is, what is the distance between C and D? Well, this is a distance. Distance will be equal to departure. Distance will be equal to departure. And as per the formula, departure is nothing but d long into cos of latitude. Well, just let's scroll it up. The d long is 3 degree 30 minute or let's convert. 3 degree is uh, 180 degree and 35 minute is 35 minute. So the minute wise is 215. So it is 215 into cos of 31 degree. Well, let's solve it. All I have to do now, just punch in the Kelsey. All right, so it is 215 into cos of uh, 31. So you get 184.29 or we can round off 184.3, 184.3. So, the answer is 184.3 nautical mile. That will be the distance at C and D the, on the ship between the ship when they are uh, steamed, they sail for 24 hours. So, similarly, let's solve this problem that uh, here there are two ships 200 nautical mile apart on the same parallel of latitude both of them started steaming 180 that means they are going south so this is north pole and south pole and suppose both the ships are here say a and b and they steamed 180 that means this ship a has gone down like this and the b has gone down like this they are on the uh, same parallel of latitude and both of them started steaming 180 at the same speed and reached 20 degree north. So here C and D, here they reach 20 degree north latitude. If their initial D long was 5 degree, so here this is X and this is Y, which is going to be 5 degree and 20 minutes. This is the D long. Find the distance covered by each of them. Well, this is uh, also pretty simple. First, uh, distance is given, which is 200. Now, what we have to do? The formula is departure is equal to d long into cos of latitude. So, here, departure is the distance between them. So, we'll put here 200. That's equal to d long, and the d long will remain same which is 5 degree 20 minutes. So let's convert 5 degree is what? 5 degree is uh, 300 plus 20. So that is nothing but 320. You can use the Kelsey also 320 into into cause of latitude. Well, we need to find the latitude. So cause of latitude is 200 divided by 320. Now let's use the Kelsey. Well, here it is 200 divided by 320. So I get this 0 0.625 and cos inverse. So I get this value 51.317 and then you press this degree again 51 degree 19 minute and 4.1 uh, second 
actually we can maximum we can round off to we can say if you assume that this is 6 second that it will be 19.1 so 51 degree 19.1 that's the round off 51 degree so latitude is 51 degree 19.1 minute well and now you got to be a little careful so this latitude is 51 degree 19.1 minute and this will be towards north so the vessel was here and after some time they are here we need to uh, we need to find the delet well, a delet will be, and this one we have to name it north, right? Because uh, you are here at 20 degree north, you are already in northern hemisphere. The assumption is right, this is zero degree, by the way. So, delet is 51 degree 19.1 minus, minus 20 degree, that is 31 degree. 19.1 minutes south why because the vessel is you are going in the southerly direction so now let's uh, have the Kelsey well we can do this way also minus 20 degree all right so we get this 31 point okay and now all you have to do just multiply it by 60 and you see 1879 that is the distance 1879 one eight seven nine i think just let me check again one eight seven nine point zero six okay then we can ignore one eight seven nine the distance is one eight seven nine minutes or one eight seven nine nautical mile that is the distance